I'm so excited that today we are marking the moment as we move into 10 years, a quick 10 years, since public health has come home to local government. Remembering that local government began fundamentally as a public health organisation. In the 1948 Act, we created the conditions where people could live better, safer lives. Tackling the fact that in a town like Halifax, the life expectancy was only, in 1830s, 36 years old. But I know that public health, being in local government, helps local government to be more effective, to tackle the conditions that keep people well, to keep people out of hospital, but also, most importantly, keep people healthy, living a healthy life as much as possible. Let's celebrate public health. Coming home to local government gave us the opportunity in all of that 10 years to tackle some of the really important influences um, on people's health and well-being, working with um, other parts of the council, looking at employment and jobs and the local environment, uh, working with education and schools and working with um, adult social care as well. The Something in the Air project was designed to engage the community of Sorby Bridge in research and experimentation around the subject of air quality. Air monitors were lent to people so they could research the air quality in their homes and outside. Well, I'm a, a regular visitor to the library and so I picked up a leaflet about the availability of air quality monitors and I was absolutely delighted. We started to look for potential partners within the council and of course an obvious one was public health. The relationship was excellent because there's a lot of synergies between public health and libraries, especially the provision of information. You know, I can see that relationship only has been a positive and, uh, you know, positive re for the residents of Calderdale. One of the key agendas for libraries is actually health and well-being. And of course, the project's about the well-being of the community and it's about community involvement. Libraries and librarians are one of the most trusted professionals around. Public health information and messages we can add to that. The Active Calderdale programme is a core part of the public health function in Calderdale and public health being based within the local council has been really beneficial to the success of the programme. It's about enabling the whole population to be physically active and it's about how we work to create the conditions to support people to be active so that could be better parks and green spaces, better streets for, for walking and cycling but it's also about how we can encourage and support people to be active and being based in the council has enabled us to work with um, departments and services like adult social care to look to embed physical activity promotion into what they do so they can support and encourage the people they work with to be more physically active. And being based in the council has enabled us to create really strong relationships and partnerships with them um, and it's, it's gone on to um, support physical activity to be embedded as part of what they do and then now helping and supporting people to be more physically active. School Street is closing the roads outside the school and creating like a, a pedestrian, temporary pedestrian zone to encourage people to walk, scoot and cycle to school, creating a safer environment, creating a cleaner air environment. It came out of trying to create safer spaces outside schools during the pandemic. The response has been really good, really positive. It improves the air quality, you're reducing the traffic outside there. The impacts of emissions outside of school are quite considerable. Um, it encourages people to build into activity into their daily lives. It's about creating an environment that feels safer, then it encourages people to, to walk and cycle. We work quite early in starting some of the school streets, so there's quite a monitoring process that goes on and we try to look at how people are currently travelling and where they're coming from and the, the impact it might have on the scheme. What we'd like to do is create those environments that become a more permanent place outside the schools to encourage that activity. We're trying to look at the infrastructure improvements around and working with other areas of the council to um, see those improvements put in place.